In my last video, I mentioned that I will do a check-in after about a week to give you guys an update on how my hair was doing after using aloe vera to retwist. And I'll say that it's doing pretty well. I'm actually still very happy with how my hair looks except for this part over here, but that's nothing to worry about. It was just bad execution on my end. My hair is a little bit frizzy, but overall it doesn't really get any better than this. I don't think I've seen any real difference from the results that I get when I do my own retwist with gels. So it's pretty much the same except my hair doesn't feel sticky and it's not attracting a lot of lint. It feels clean, it feels very light. So, so far I am very happy with how the whole aloe vera thing is working out. I've been going on and on and on and on about how my scalp is prone to dandruff and how it's very very irritable and one of my subscribers actually recommended that I try jojoba oil jojoba oil jojoba yeah <laughs> so I'm finally going to be putting it to the test I went to my local beauty store and I got myself jojoba oil I've been reading about it a lot and by the looks of it it looks like it might actually come through I'm excited to see what the results are, so please stay tuned. Fun fact, jojoba oil is the oil that is most similar to our hair's natural oils, the sebum. Because of this, it is the best option for people who have low porosity hair like myself. And most importantly, it moisturizes the scalp without leaving any residue which makes it perfect for locks. Now, this oil is not new to my channel and it is my absolute fave. Eucalyptus oil improves hair health, promotes hair growth, and relieves itchy scalp and dandruff. Tea tree oil can unclog your hair follicles. It has antimicrobial and antiseptic properties. These properties benefit the hair and scalp by removing buildup of dead skin cells, oil and products, increasing oxygen and nutrients supply to the hair follicles, and treating and protecting the scalp from infections. I know there's a lot of oils in the mix, but don't forget that jojoba oil is the star of today's show. Applying it to the scalp and hair can hydrate individual strands and lock in moisture, leaving your hair feeling soft and healthy. And because it is super lightweight, it is perfect for thin and fine hair, giving you maximum hydration minus the heaviness of regular conditioners. There's no formula to how you should apply this. I am doing it the old fashioned way. Applying the oils directly to my scalp using my finger and massaging it in following the grid pattern of my locks. Jojoba oil contains aloic acid and vitamin E which help prevent dryness and flakiness making it a good natural remedy for dandruff and psoriasis. Because it is good at balancing out the skin, continuous use may also keep dandruff and flakes from returning. If you've used it once and you still experience flakes and dandruff, try using it for a couple of months and hopefully the dandruff will be gone for good.
Depending on the severity of your dandruff, mine is pretty severe, you can use the Hobart oil as a pre-treatment before shampooing. Say, letting it sit in your hair for 20 minutes before rinsing it out, or you can use it as a leave-in scalp conditioner post-shampooing your hair. I'm already receiving feedback from my scalp. The eucalyptus oil and the tea tree oil are leaving this tingling sensation on my scalp. I know that it's not for everyone. I personally enjoy it, so I'm having the time of my life right now. And the combination just make your hair smell so fresh. It's just, it's lovely. Um, I'm gonna be doing this twice in a week. You also don't want to over oil your scalp because it's not good for it um yeah i hope that jojoba jojoba oil comes through that it actually works because there's nothing as painful as having dandruff prone hair and an itchy scalp um i'll obviously do a check-in to let you guys know if it is for keeps or if we, if we should just trash it and try something different i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please make sure that you hit the subscribe button until next time i love you guys so much bye